Hey Lightweights, today I am super excited because I get to share my thoughts with you on Star Wars Outlaws based off of what I saw at a behind the scenes preview event with Ubisoft. I had the opportunity to watch three different missions play out and I was able to take some notes so that I could share my opinions and the things that I noticed with you today in this video. So let's get into it. The first thing that I noticed were the environments all looked very distinct, very unique, and absolutely stunning. As I said before, I saw three different missions play out, and each mission took place in a different environment, on a different planet, or a different part within that planet. Mission one took place within a city. Mission two took place within an overgrown, derelict destroyer or fighter ship of some kind. Was this the ship's reactor? And mission three took place on a very snowy, icy planet. All of them looked incredibly unique and the environments were absolutely beautiful. The other thing that stood out to me was the sound effects. When I think Star Wars, I think of the very distinct laser noises <laughs> when they're shooting their guns. And they did not disappoint on that front. The sound effects from the warning alarms, the blasters, the explosions, all of that really felt like Star Wars and made feel like I was watching another Star Wars film and just pulled at the nostalgia strings. I'm on it. Speaking of the blaster, there are three modes you can shoot your blaster in, plasma, ion, and stun. Now stun is the one that I'm most excited about because it's almost like a stealth takedown and it can take anything down in one hit. The only problem is it has a really long reload time so you have to be very careful with how you use that. The other modes obviously are going to have different perks and different benefits, uh, but I wasn't able to figure out what those were quite yet. So I'm excited to learn more about those modes as well. As you already know, we are playing as the character Kay and her trusty companion, Nyx. Now Nyx is absolutely adorable, which we already could tell, but Nyx's gameplay also looks like it's gonna be super beneficial and like people can utilize it in a bunch of different ways. A few of the things that I noticed you could use with Nyx are to distract guards. Time to distract them, Nyx. So from the gameplay that I saw, it almost looked like you could kind of select a guard and then send Nyx to do something to them. So distract them either with their cuteness. You can use Nyx to scan the environment for different weapons or different things you can interact with. Speaking of Nyx with weapons, you can have Nyx fetch weapons for you. So if you see something that you want, you can go have Nyx grab it for you and bring it back. And Nyx also does help you fight. So there was one scene in the very first mission that I watched where there were two guards that we were trying to stealth. Uh, Nyx was sent after one guard and you went towards the other. So very similar with other games where you have a companion that helps you where they can kind of do the silence, the stealth takedown simultaneously. You can use Nyx in that way as well. But there were other instances where Nyx helped in a battle too. For example, in one of the other missions, there were explosive barrels that were almost on a timed explosion. So you can send Nyx to distract a guard, bring the guard over to those barrels, and then detonate those barrels. So Nyx really feels like this is a part of the game that you can use a lot versus just some cute companion that's going to tag along after you. Nyx, set that off. We were able to see a couple of the puzzle mechanics that we were going to be introduced to. The first being something called the data okay, spike, go. which looks like lock picking, but I couldn't make out how exactly it worked, but it looks really, really cool and definitely like it's going to be a fun challenge. We also have computer hacking, Here goes. which again, I could not make heads or tail of what they were doing in order to hack the computer, <laughs> but I'm super excited to learn what the hacking for the computers is going to be because I absolutely love doing that in games. And lastly, the grappling hook. It looked like it was gonna be a lot of fun and definitely is going to be used in the environment. Hey buddy. It also looked like there was a slowdown feature for when you were actually 
in combat that you can use along the lines of like a dead eye or um, in Jedi you had the focus ability kind of like that where you can focus on the enemy and slow things down a bit so you have some more reaction time. They did show us glimpses of that as well. One thing that I knew was going to be in this game, but really took me by surprise with how fun it actually looked, because I did not think this was going to be my cup of tea, is space flight and space combat. It looks like you have a decent amount of freedom while you're in space uh, in terms of the fighting where you can kind of fly around wherever you want to go and have a little dog fight in space. <laughs> and going back to the sound effects, the sound effects during that sequence were absolutely impeccable, spot on, exactly what I wanted them to be. But it looked smooth, it looked like it was gonna be fun. Typically me with flying, we do not go hand in hand and it is not something I enjoy doing, but this actually looked like it was gonna be enjoyable. One thing that I really wanted to pay extra attention to was how you get from space to a planet. And it looks like when you get close to a planet, a little pop-up will appear with different landing points that you can select. Then you select the landing point and it looked like the game kind of landed for you. So you're not flying into the planet and landing by yourself. The first city that we saw is Mirogama City and I automatically wanted to explore this place. It looked dirty, it looked grungy, it looked like the underbelly of the city and it was beautiful. <laughs> it really gave the vibe of this is where criminal syndicates are going to be. This is where the criminal underbelly is gonna live. The architecture was stunning and it just felt gritty and dirty and exactly like you would expect if you were a criminal and you were looking to talk to other criminals. The next planet we went to was Kajimi, which was a snowy, icy, cold planet. And again, it felt very different than the first city we went to. The architecture was incredibly different. The way people behaved and were dressed was different. Uh, and they did a great job of creating an environment that actually made it feel like you were on this freezing cold planet. The way the wind whipped, the sound effects, the crunching of the snow, it was again beautifully executed and really felt much, much different than the first area that they showed us. The first mission they showed us was definitely a stealth mission. It was very stealth based. We were trying to have Nyx distract guards. We were doing stealth takedowns until later on when we got into some open combat. But when we were on Kajimi, the sequence there was 100% open combat. And this was something else that I really wanted to pay close attention to because I wanted to make sure that it looked like it felt fun. <laughs> I wanted it to be a unique Star Wars experience because we're not a Jedi in this. I wanted to pay particular attention to the types of weapons we were using, uh, how the aiming looked and things like that. So it does seem like there are different weapon types that you can pick up in terms of guns. So your blaster seems like it's gonna be the one that you have with you at all times, but we were able to pick up other weapons to use, different types of guns that are gonna be useful in different situations. Kay also has a tool belt with a variety of tools and weapons she can use. It looks like she has a smoke bomb and also had grenades. And it also seems like she has binoculars. When they brought up that little that little wheel of her tool belt. I did see binoculars on there, but I don't think I saw them used in the actual gameplay footage that I watched. While we were in the shootouts, I did see a reloading sequence and it looks like there's a mechanic similar to Gears. And I know that this is in other games as well, but Gears is fresh on the mind where there's like a perfect reload. So when you hit the reload button, if you hit it again at the perfect point, uh, you get I think it looked like a slight stat boost or maybe just a faster reload time. So that's really exciting because it's always really satisfying when you hit that perfect reload. And they did do that a couple times while we were involved in open combat. The traversal, I didn't see a ton of. There was really only one sequence that was just traversal. Uh, and it did remind me a bit of Jedi with the climbing. And in this, Kay has a grappling hook that she used a couple different times but it looked like it felt good. It looked pretty smooth and how scripted it will be, but it did look fun. The last thing I noticed that I'm not entirely sure 
exactly how it plays into gameplay or what it leads to, but uh, occasionally when they would do things, a little pop-up would appear and say, um, you did this out of this many times. So for example, with Nyx, there was one that kept popping up that said, make Nyx happy five times. I'm not entirely sure what that's gonna lead to. So I don't know if that will lead to a skill point. I don't know if that's a different tree or what exactly that leads to, but I did notice that as well. And I'm really curious about that. I do know other games do systems similar to that. So if that sounds familiar to you, let me know your thoughts on what that could be in the comments below. Um, but that does seem like another fun little checklist <laughs> mechanic that I will 100% be trying to get done. And I think that's everything. So overall, I absolutely loved, loved, loved what I saw. And if I wasn't excited before, I am so incredibly excited now and I was already excited. So the fact that I was going in with high expectations and now my expectations are even higher, I think is an amazing sign. I cannot wait to play this game and you should be as and you should be super excited as well. If you have any other questions, please let me know them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer what I can. And if I need to do a follow-up video answering your questions, I can absolutely do that as well. But let me know your thoughts on the trailers that you've seen recently. We've gotten a lot of new trailers. Let me know your thoughts on the footage that I showed you today or things that I talked about. Or if you have any clarifying questions you would like me to answer, please drop them in the comments below. And as always, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do. That way you know when I post future videos and I will see you back here hopefully with some more Star Wars Outlaws in the future.